In this video I'm going to show you how to control the multiple channels of a virtual instrument from within Logic 8. I've got a default session open with an instrument track. <coughs> On this instrument track I've got Philharmonic loaded up. On bank 1 I've got a slow attack violin. On bank 2 I've got a staccato violin. I've also got four quarter notes recorded. If we play this back right now, the notes are defaulting to the slow attack violin patch. By default, the instrument channel is set to be to control all MIDI channels. If we wanted to control channel 2, which contains our staccato violins instead, we would change that parameter to channel 2. Now it should play our staccato sound. But what if we want the first three notes to be short notes and the last note to be a longer sustained note instead of a short staccato note? How would we do that without creating a new MIDI track? Well, first, you'll want to go to View and select Event Float and you will get this window right here. This window will show you MIDI data of the selected notes. It shows you position, the data type, and most importantly the MIDI channel of the note. Now if we want to change the first three notes to our staccato sound, we can grab the MIDI channel and change it on those three notes. Now for this to work the all setting has to be enabled on the track inspector for the track that the virtual instrument and the MIDI data is on because it will allow all of the MIDI channels to be played from that track which we're, we will be using ch uh, MIDI channels 2 for the first three notes and MIDI channel 1 for the last note so let's see if this plays back correctly This method works great for similar sounds on different banks where the articulations are different, allowing you to have a single violin track but change between the articulations just using the MIDI data, which means you don't have to duplicate tracks, you don't have to duplicate notes. It simplifies it from this aspect. The second method is better for different sounds on different banks. So on bank two, if we load up a woodwind sound, let's do a solo flute. Where we have violins on bank one and flute on bank two, it would be impractical to have both of those instruments on the same track inside of Logic. So to arrange this a little better, which the easiest way I have found to do this is to create new instrument tracks. We'll create a single track for the flute. Let's go ahead and name these. And we'll copy our MIDI data down so we have something to work with. Now the key to getting the flute track MIDI data to play the virtual instrument on track 1, which is where our flute sound is, lies in the routing of the environment. Now if you open your environment window, Command 8 is the shortcut for that, you can see our flute track which does not have a virtual instrument loaded and our track 1 which is uh, the track that has Philharmonic loaded. Now what we will want to do is to grab the MIDI output at the top of the track in the environment window and drag it over to track 1. This routing will allow any MIDI contained on the flute track to control the track the Philharmonic on track 1. Now to set the patch for the flute we have got to change the MIDI track for the flute the MIDI channel for the flute track. 
so we want the flute to play channel 2 and again the track with the virtual instrument on it needs to stay on all for the MIDI channel or this will not work so let's go back and we're going to undo our our changes that we made earlier so these notes are all channel 1 and let's set these back to all channel 1 because that is the way most people would record them on the same MIDI channel they wouldn't pay attention to their MIDI channel while they're recording so if we play back now we should hear flute and violin here let's, let's change the flute just to get a little bit different make sure they're different and if we hit play we should hear both sounds and if we look back in Philharmonic just open it up to show you you can see that both sounds are being triggered in the same virtual instrument from two different tracks inside of Logic 